Welcome to season two of the Northern Kentucky Norse. We're going into our second year as a football program, and if you missed season one, make sure you go back and watch all of the previous episodes, because you'll definitely have missed out on a lot. We're going to start season two, though, by looking at our starting lineup. At QB, you already know him, the man, the myth, the legend, Mason Bean. He was a first-team All-Conference USA last year, and he's primed for an even better senior year. At halfback, the former Miami transfer, Robert Burns, is coming in for a senior season, and he'll hopefully be able to do a lot more this year with a better offensive line. At wide receiver, the former transfer from Kentucky, Bryce Oliver, is coming in. He's a junior. He's up to an 85 overall, and his 86 catching helps him hold on to all sorts of passes. Our second wide receiver is the freshman Tony Hines. He has 96 speed, so he has burners, but he could struggle to hold on to the ball with only 58 catching. Our massive slot wide receiver is Adrian Nelson coming in at 6'7". He used to play basketball. He's got 84 speed, but his 60 catching and 55 route running does hold him back a bit. And lastly, our fourth receiver, a transfer from Murray State, Daquan Green. He's up to a 72 overall, and he'll come in when all of our starters need a break. Our starting tight end transferred in from Kentucky, Nick Ojanovic is only a sophomore and he's already a 77 overall. He doesn't have the best receiving stats with 75 speed and 74 catching, but he's still a beast on the field. If you take a look right here, our offensive line is massively improved from last season. We have players over a 45 overall, and George Daniel, the Juco recruit, is going to be leading the offensive line. At left end, we have Nick Young starting for us. Not to get confused with the basketball player, but the left end has 76 power moves and 79 finesse moves, so he's going to be a menace on our defensive line. At right end, we have another freshman starting, Ashton Anderson. He's a 71 overall, and he is 6'6 with 75 strength. At defensive tackle, the sophomore Juco transfer, Jeff Welsh, is coming in at a 78 overall, and his 80 strength is going to be hard to hold back. At left outside linebacker, the senior Devin Dixon the third. He used to play cornerback for us, but we moved him to left outside linebacker this offseason, and he has 84 hit power with 81 tackling. Ryan Clayton, my user, and our starting middle linebacker is a 62 overall, but he has 85 speed and 91 acceleration. And freshman Austin Hargrove is starting at right outside linebacker for us. He's 5'11", 230, and he has 84 speed. At corner, first team All-American Jamari Brown is coming in at an 84 overall. The junior that transferred in from Kentucky had an amazing season last year, and his 95 awareness is going to make him even better this season. Our corners behind him are Kenneth Webb and Nick Morgan. Both of them are freshmen, and they're going to have to come out and prove themselves on the field. At free safety, the former basketball player Trayvon Faulkner is coming in at a 71 overall. He had an amazing season last year, and the senior is going to have an even better one this year. At strong safety, the freshman Travis Silva is coming in with 92 speed. He's got 79 tackling, and he's going to have a big role on this defense. And then our special teams is full of former NKU soccer players, with kicker Cam Newton coming in at a 67 overall, and punter Brody Salos coming in at a 66. Now that we've covered our starters, it's time to redshirt some players. And we're actually going to redshirt both of these QBs, Darnell Green and Jared Jackson. But if both of our QBs end up getting hurt, we'll pull the redshirt on Jared Jackson. We're going to redshirt the 5'8 halfback, Daniel Kelly. He's primed to be our starter next year when Robert Burns graduates. Andy Larson, the 74 overall freshman receiver, is getting the redshirt. He is 87 speed, 96 excel but his 63 catching does need some work so we're going to let him redshirt and sit out for a year we're also going to redshirt 6-4 left end doug johnson and 59 overall strong safety adam newson now it's time to customize our schedule and we're not starting out easy at all our first game will be at number 17 kentucky we put up a solid fight against them last season where we almost were able to pull out the upset win in week two we're going to travel up to columbus and we're going to take on ohio state this one is going to be a tough battle Week three, we play our first rivalry game against Cincinnati. And even though they allow us to use their home stadium, we're going to get to host the game this year. So the rivalry game will be played on NKU's field. Week four, we're going to be traveling in-state to Louisville. We're going to see if we can go in and beat the Cardinals. And then after that, we're going to start conference play with our big rivalry game coming against Western Kentucky in week 13. Our schedule is definitely going to be tough this year, but we can handle it. Now we get to dive into recruiting. Our pipeline states are still Kentucky, Ohio, and Florida, and we're going to see if anyone has interest in our school. Number 69, John Causey runs a 448, and he has number one interest in our school. I'm also going to look at Junior Little and Marcus Williams. I also found a couple six, seven studs. We're going to add them to the board and hope we can get them. I'm also going to add some studs from Kentucky to the board. And now it's time to go in and scout all these players. If they're bad, they're getting tossed off the board immediately. And there's our first offensive lineman, Jim, and a middle linebacker, Jim, as well. Joe Washington's actually interested in our school. But now it's time to advance to week one, where we'll get into our first game of the season after we look at the preseason polls and do some recruiting. We're projected to finish fifth on our side of the conference this year. And our team's up to a 68 overall. 
overall. Trayvon Faulkner and Jamari Brown are both first team All-Americans. And we have quite a few preseason All-Conference USA players with Mason Bean, Adrian Nelson, Samuel Lowe, Trayvon Faulkner, Wilson Insko, and Jamari Brown all being first team, and Bryce Oliver being second team. We're not the worst program in college football anymore, which is a sigh of relief, but we're still near the very bottom. Now it's time to do a little recruiting. Week one doesn't really matter, but I'm definitely gonna go after players like Joe Washington. And just like that, our recruiting board is full. I will be doing a lot more recruiting next week, but for this week, this is what we have on the board. Now it's time to travel to Lexington. They have a huge overall advantage over us, but oh well, we're gonna give it our best shot. Here are our top three players. We're starting off the new season. I'm here with my user, Ryan Clayton. Trayvon Faulkner is gonna make the tackle. Ryan Clayton, I need to know if you can get in here on a blitz. Come on. Oh, they handed it off and I missed. Come on, Welsh, make the tackle. Trayvon Faulkner, bring him down. And now they're just gonna be passing here. It looks like we have a box, but Joey Gatewood's taken off. Someone hit him. I have to give Kentucky credit. They've been moving the ball really easily on us. Hargrove makes the tackle. And now we have a third and four right here. Come on, Clayton. Oh, wow, they burnt us deep. Josh Ali catches the touchdown, and we're unfortunately giving up seven early. We're going to start the season off with the read option, and we're getting nowhere. It looks like this is going to be another very pass-heavy season. We're going to roll out, though, and look at that route from Bryce Oliver. The Kentucky transfer is already contributing against his old team. And now we're gonna hit Robert Burns in the flat. Come on, go as far as you can, buddy. Now we're gonna hand it off to him. Our offensive line is improved. This game's gonna be a shootout. If we want any chance of winning, we're gonna have to play our best. Man-to-man -man coverage, everything's kinda boxed. I might've had Adrian Nelson deep, but Mason Bean is gonna take off. He's picking up right where he left off. And now, here on the goal line, I'm gonna throw it up to 6-7 Adrian Nelson. He's gonna catch the touchdown. It's hard to contain height like that. And the former basketball player makes it 7-7 early. All right, here on first and 10, they're just handing it off to Chris Rodriguez. Although Devin Dixon used to play corner, he seems to be doing just fine at linebacker. Now, they're going with the halfback screen. Let's get out there, Devin Dixon. Make another tackle. Here on third and 10, I'm stuck on the defensive lineman, but I think we have everything in a box. Please, no lucky route bounces. They're testing Jamari Brown, and he didn't get the pick. What a dot from Joey Gatewood. Josh Ali already has two touchdowns, and I thought Jamari Brown was about to get a pick against his former team. Let's go with the little read option here. Come on, Mason Bean. You're getting nowhere. We're in a tough spot here on third and 15. I want to throw Adrian Nelson, and he holds on to it. Talk about dots, man. Look at that. I thought I for sure just threw a pick. We're handing this off to Robert Burns, and he's going to get to the outside. It looks like they're bringing a blitz here. I was right. Come on. Let's throw a dot to Bryce Oliver. And now I'm going to roll out with Mason Bean. I want to throw it deep. Oh my gosh. I shouldn't have second guessed myself. I didn't know if he had the arm to do it or not, so I just didn't throw it. But it doesn't matter because on the read option, he's getting us to third and one. We have to go for it. Come on, Mason Bean. What a play. We're going to slide. And now on first and 10, they're in man-to-man -man coverage. Nothing's going to be open, but look at that route bounce. We're going to throw to Quan Green, and he's going to get into the end zone. On first and 10, it looks like they're just handing it off. Oh my gosh, what a move by Chris Rodriguez. Fortunately, he didn't bounce it to the outside because that right side was wide open. Another run by Chris Rodriguez. Travis Silva brings him down. And it looks like another run. Come on. Trayvon Faulkner misses the tackle. Come on, Webb. No, he misses. Chris Rodriguez is feasting all over us. We just haven't been able to stop the run at all. Come on, Jamari Brown, make the tackle. And that's a touchdown. Here on third down, I'm gonna look for Tony Hines. And the freshman picks up the first down for us. I don't see anything that's open. Our offensive line did not hold up well for us. So Mason Bean is just gonna have to make a massive play out of it. The senior is so good at improvising. And now we're on the counter with Robert Burns to the outside. Could he be? Gone to the end zone. Touchdown, Norse. We're going out and we're tying the game up at 21. Oh my gosh, I missed. No. We just gave up our first kick return of the season. We gave up a ton of those last year. That hurts a ton. That just ruins all momentum we just had. All right, Jamari Brown, why don't you give him one right back with the spin move? Come on. A blitz is coming in. So we're just going to throw it to Darwin. And it looks like they're pressing 96 speed. Tony Hines, come on, buddy. You're just faster than them. The freshman gets his first touchdown of the season. That's what you like to see. This game is definitely a shootout. I'm really hoping we don't give up points before the half. The flat is open and so is Daly Jr. 
All right, halfback screen. Come on, Travis Silva. You got to get out there and make that tackle. This is a big third and inches here. Can we get the stop? No way. They're continuing to move this ball down our field. Joey Gatewood's taking off and Welsh is getting the sack. Kentucky used their final timeout and they're just gonna take three. We do have a 96 speed wide receiver. We might as well try to throw it up to him to end the half. They brought blitzers. Oh my gosh, Mason Bean. And you throw your first pick of the season. That wasn't worth it at all. Time to go with a little QB wrap from Mason Bean and he's gonna get nowhere. We're gonna continue to try to run the ball though. I'm gonna pitch it to the outside. Tony Hines is getting nowhere as well. And Kentucky finally has figured out what it takes to stop us. I'm just throwing the slant. Bryce Oliver doesn't hold on to it. And now we have to punt it back to Kentucky. We're gonna have to do something on defense. No way they got an open receiver. I've decided they have just way too much time in the pocket. We're gonna start blitzing. Joey Gatewood, you're not going anywhere. Come on, I'll blitz again. It's a halfback screen. Great play call. Webb makes the tackle. All right, here on third down. The hitch is not open. What a route. I thought we had great defense there, but Joey Gatewood finds the dot anyway. They are definitely in man-to-man -man here. We're gonna throw Tony Hines. Come on, buddy. You know what's gonna happen. Nothing. Pretty much everyone's in a box besides Bryce Oliver. Read option right here. Hand it off to Robert Burns. All right. What do we have deep? Nothing. You know what, Mason Bean, get the first down. His legs have been crucial to our success. And now, no, the blitz. I didn't even see it coming. It's third and 22. What is gonna happen right here? Oh my gosh, is that a dot? Bryce Oliver gets open. Of course he does. He's so good. Now we're gonna throw Adrian Nelson. No, I couldn't get the throw off. And Mason Bean is hurt. Backup QB, Corey Cottles on the field. We're gonna take Adrian Nelson right there and he's gonna get almost into the end zone. So we're just gonna hand this ball off to Robert Burns and we're gonna get into the end zone. I can't keep him in. I can't risk having him hurt the rest of the year. But if we need to, I will bring him in. We'll need to get a stop on defense first, though. Come on, Ryan Clayton. Get into that gap. Travis Silva can't make the tackle. Trayvon Faulkner misses the tackle. We can't stop the run at all. They're just throwing underneath now. I don't know what to do on defense. Come on. Someone get out there. Stop Chris Rodriguez. Trayvon Faulkner. And another run right here. And Chris Rodriguez is going to have another big game. We have got to stop the run right here. I brought a blitz in and Joey Gatewood's just going to take off and get into the end zone. Our defense has not been able to get a stop this game. Jamari Brown with the nice spin move. Another spin move. That was nasty. He made four people miss on one play, but now I'm stuck trying to move the ball with a horrible QB. Come on, Corey Cottle. Just throw it up. Adrian Nelson here on third down. I'm going to throw Tony Hines. What a route. Come on. Get to the outside. 96 speed. You've got to be gone. And now we're gonna hand this one off to Robert Burns. He's gonna get a nice low pickup. And look who's into the game. Mason Bean, come on. Big third down right here. Come on, buddy. Yeah, that's why we have Mason Bean in the game. They're in man-to-man -man coverage here. And you know what? We're gonna take off with Mason Bean again. Getting into the end zone. We are not out of this game yet, boys. He carries us so hard. All right, come on. We need to stop this run here. Dixon brings him down. Third down. We need to stop. I like everything in a box. Come on, pick it. Okay, we got the stop anyway. Now they're punting us the ball. All right, Jamari Brown, we need a good kick return here. Come on, get to the outside. That's what I like to see. Ooh. We are in the same position we were against Kentucky last year. Come on, we need to actually finish this time. Third down for us right here. Come on, we need to pick it up. Adrian Nelson is open. What a catch. Now we can just run the ball. Let's go, Robert Burns. You're not getting anywhere. Big second and 12 right here. Oh my gosh, we have the open receiver. Come on, Daquan Green. I can't believe he held on to that. All right, I've winded out as much clock as I can. Mason Bean, get into the end zone. Oh my gosh, the NKU Norse might actually win this game. Not only would we win against a ranked team for the first time in program history, but we'd be beating Kentucky. This will definitely make an in-state rivalry between the two teams. This would be the biggest win in program history. Come on, team. We just got to hold them one play, boys, and we could end up beating Kentucky. Come on. No way. Let's pick it off or something. There we go. Webb gets the pick. Let's return it for six just to rub it in. NKU takes down Kentucky at Kroger Field, and what a huge win for the program. We're starting this season off right. 
Mason Bean passed for 325 yards and three touchdowns, and then he rushed for another 70 and two touchdowns. Robert Burns rushed for 65 yards and two touchdowns, and we had two 100-yard receivers in Bryce Oliver and the freshman Tony Hines. Liam Demko led us in tackles, and the Juco sophomore Jeff Welsh had the only sack for our team. What an amazing start to our season. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you did, make sure to hit that like button down below and make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I will see you guys in the next Dynasty episode. Peace.